Yeah, another edition of Gino Gem Time. Here it is, a little tip and trick to help you with your trading day and week and life. Here it is. Um, this one, how to find earnings reports coming up, the ones that are coming up immediately, the closest big names from the S&P, and how to find how they did on earnings real quickly. One of the fastest ways that I like to use is Finviz. Finviz is a very popular site. My friends over there at Finviz have this great free um, you know, website here you can go to finviz.com. A lot of you are already familiar with it. Over here is a tool that a lot of websites use called the Market Carpet. There's a lot inside the Market Carpet. I'm going to use it for earnings. All I do is I left click on it. It's defaulted to the S&P 500. You could put it on the full. You could put it on the world. Whatever you want. I'm going to leave it on the S&P 500 just because these are the market baseline, the S&P 500. So this is today's performance, it's defaulted. You wanna drop down here during earnings season or whenever and click on the very last tab, earnings date. Earnings date, you'll see it's grayed out. It's kind of like a light green on my screen. I'm not sure how it's coming across on yours, but it's the pinkish ones, the bright pink ones. Down here you'll see in the legend before earnings, plus 15 days, more than two weeks out, and then it's dark if it's over a month. So I'm looking for these ones that are less than two weeks out, and you can see them popping out. So this is the last big week of earnings. We're in earnings season right now. As you can see, Microsoft already reported, here's the date, October 25th, after market, that's with the A. But look at NVIDIA. NVIDIA is coming up November 16th. It's in that bright pink color here. So you can see Semiconductors has a big player, Disney and communications, and then Walmart over here in defensive. And the B is for before market. So not only does it give you less than two weeks, but if you highlight over it, it tell you the date. And so looking at it, the overall picture, not a lot, not very many. There are a few big names. The bigger the square, the bigger the name. As you can see, the big names have passed. Now, with that said, as we can see, not many S&P 500 companies left. You can actually get the date. How did these ones that already perform, like Microsoft and Apple, Google and Meta, how did they do after their earnings date now that they passed? So you go back to the drop down, hit earnings day performance, left click on that, and there you go. That negative 7.7% .7 is how Microsoft acted on the opening day after earnings or the day right after earnings. There it is. That's how they react. They were down 7%. Apple was up 7%. Google was down nine, Meta was down 24. You can see it there on the, and then also you can see the charts of the, the companies in the same industry right below it. Amazon down 6.8, eBay, Etsy, all lined up there. You can see what they did. So Amazon down 6.8% on earnings date, eBay plus 2% and Etsy plus 14. So you can kind of see how their earnings date and overall picture, do you see more red or green? I see a lot of red in the big names, the mega caps, a lot of red in the big names, but I see a lot of green in the smaller, it's mixed, but you can definitely see a lot of green in the energy. And most of them have reported, I see a lot of green in the defensive and a lot of red in the cyclical. So you could kind of see a great general macro overview. Then you could go into the industry and see like a more micro view. Here's just <clears throat> financial data and stock exchanges, mostly green. You know, so you kind of see the earnings day performance. And again, right below that is the earnings date. Great way to prepare yourself for the week. Great way to get yourself up to date on what happened. And take your time, check that out. It only takes a minute to add your routine. That's another Geno Gem to add to your pile. Have a great one and check in frequently for some more.